Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and as you can see, we are working on a badly stained headliner. Customer contacted me and he had purchased a new to him but a used vehicle that he was unaware that it was smoked in heavily. And this was one of the first telltale signs when I got my head in the vehicle and I said, you've got a lot of staining on the headliner. And he's like, oh no, what do we do? I said, we've got to do a smoke odor removal treatment. And so I am in the process of working on that for him. I've already done a thorough vacuuming of the carpets and leather, etc. And we're going to start at the top as far as with cleaning the headliner and work our way down. And first and foremost, when you are working on a headliner, you can do a vacuum like this. You can use a brush attachment if you want to be a little bit more gentle. But this is doing a decent job of just trying to get off as much dry soiling uh, and staining from the smoke residue as we can, but it's not going to remove it 100%. You can see we still got a lot of heavy staining in our, our tighter areas, corners, etc. We're going to try a couple different techniques here with you guys. For those of you that maybe it's lightly stained or it's heavily stained, this is what I would consider more on the heavily stained. And the technique would be the same if you have maybe water staining or maybe a, a drink that has splattered on the headliner. But uh, first and foremost, you want to try to remove off as much loose soiling as possible. And then we're going to skip ahead and go to our actual extraction or bonnet cleaning technique for next up. Already vacuumed as much of the residue off as I could. And uh, we're actually trying out a new product today. This is Royal Reflections Aftermath Biohazard Cleaner. This is a enzymatic solution. It actually has, if you see here, 400 billion organisms per gallon. Uh, now what I had, and you can see on the directions, it says to use 16 ounces aftermath per gallon of water. I already have, I put it up basically about a four to one dilution ratio and a little bit heavier, um, but we're gonna be, go ahead and, and try this out for the headliner. I've got some microfibers here that we're just gonna do kind of a bonnet blot technique. Uh, to see how much that's staining, but because we have the enzyme solution within this cleaner, it should go after any sort of odor causing bacteria as well as clean it at the same time. So let's see uh, what we can do for our headliner. All right, so we're gonna put this on our mist setting. I'm just gonna take our white. You can see that bleeding of brown, that's that nicotine. And you can see that soiling, hopefully showing up. It's coming off onto our rag. We're just gonna saturate this. Actually, let's get this off. You can see. Now, some people would come in here with steam and some would come in with an extractor. I would not, especially with the, uh, the headliner being a little spongy. I could pull the, uh, the glue backing off. So that's why we are just doing the more tedious process of just kind of agitating. It works just as well as the other techniques. It just takes a little bit longer. Because we're using so much solution, we're going to have to use the same amount for the entire headliner or else when this dries, we're going to have like a clean ripple. So what we're going to do is just continue this process throughout the rest of the headliner. Plenty of microfibers, we're going to switch it out, but we're going to keep doing this all over the entire headliner so that way when everything dries, it's nice and uniform. All right, so we've tried doing kind of a blotting technique with a microfiber and a rag. I'm gonna share with you guys a quicker, faster way to clean the headliner. I was a little nervous about using this technique on the headliner because it's a little spongy, but I did the back and it actually did fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and go over this one more time, just so that way we have a deeper cleaning. And 
we're just going to spray our pad so we have some moisture. You don't want it dry. And we've got it on speed three. Just going to take our dry microfiber. Just go over things. What's nice about using this technique, it's a lot faster and everything will dry nice and consistent. It goes after any stains that can be removed and we'll leave behind that enzymatic solution so that way we're definitely not going to have that odor causing bacteria, the smoke smell in our headliner. So as you can see again we've got some stains, smoke staining here, we've got a lot of fingerprint smudges on our visor especially here. So we're going to take our biohazard Aftermath cleaner from Royal Reflections. We're just going to come in here, give this a thorough spray. It has a really refreshing smell to it, uh, similar to what you would have with like essential oils. You can smell a little bit, maybe of a little bit of a clove um, smell to it. And then we're going to turn on our water. is looking good and it smells even better that is a really nice smell it's not that chemical smell that's gonna like make you cough it's really refreshing Headliner is looking good. You can see we got this back section left here to do. So we're gonna move to the back. All right, so last section for us to clean. We got some Coke splatter or drink splatter. We're gonna go heavy on those two stains right there. Right. And real quick. You can see we're transferring some of the staining that was on our pad to microfiber. Give this a fresh spritz so we have some fresh solution. And you can see everything's damp, but we have a nice consistent appearance to our headliner that as that dries, if we don't have any issues with wicking, you can see those, the Coke spills or whatever drink overspray, they're gone. We're just gonna miss this on here real quick. So that way we got uniform contact with our cleaner.
that looks fantastic night and day visors we got rid of those smudges from high contact we got rid of even the nicotine staining on our plastics it cleaned everything we've got a beautiful smell to the interior of this cabin and all in all we've been able to start at the top now we're going to work our way down and clean our plastics our leather our carpets but first and foremost this is one of the most overlooked areas sometime on a vehicle that's been smoked in you don't want to skip this step and this is a fantastic product right here to be able to do your headliners with and leave a phenomenal smell afterwards and go after odor causing bacteria so everything is just damp nothing is saturated we didn't do any sort of damage to the headliner i'm really happy so fantastic option for those of you that want to clean headliners or maybe even carpets So here's the finished result of our headliner. You can see the biohazard aftermath did a fantastic job of cleaning all the stains. The headliner has a fantastic smell to it. We got rid of all of the nicotine staining as well as the smudges and just built up grime especially this area here where it was pretty much black. So here's the finished results after using our biohazard and our DA with the microfiber polishing pad. But for those of you that are wanting to go after odor causing bacteria and stains, a uh, fantastic option. So very impressed. I'll put the link for it down below for those of you that want to try it out for yourself. Man alive, I can't get over how good that smells. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next detail. We're going to keep moving on this one, but wanted to share with you guys Royal Reflections Aftermath Biohazard Cleaner, what it can do to help preserve your headliners and help with odor-causing bacteria on your vehicle. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.